male and female, brothers and sisters. Define your relationship from the beginning. Make it clear. Ask every question you want Hi, to ask. My name is Ngozi Atiti. Welcome to What the Bible Says with Ngozi Atiti. So today, uh, we're going to discuss polygamy. What does the Bible say about polygamy? And uh, that is where we're going to focus. But before we continue on that, I just want to, to let us understand what polygamy is and then we can take it from there. So polygamy is a practice or the custom of marrying more than one spouse. That is marrying more than one wife or marrying more than one husband. Now, if a man marries more than one wife, it is called polygyny. And if a woman marries more than one husband, it is called polyandry. What motivated this topic is because a popular Nollywood actor, his name is Yu Odeche, the son of uh, Pete Odeche, the popular actor in Things Fall Apart. If you're a Nigerian, you understand what I'm talking about. Um, so Yu Odeche has been married for 16 years and recently, uh, when the discussion and the trigger about domestic violence came up, he tweeted that he's 16 years in marriage and he's happy about it and he understands that marriage is not easy and that it requires a lot of patience, love and selflessness. So he tweeted that and he also yielded his own voice against um, domestic violence. And his father sometime also, I will put all these clips up here, his father also said in one of his tweets that um, marrying two wives does not make you a strong man. But what happens is that it breeds confusion into that man's life or into the family. So I'll put the exact words that he used. But this is being, you know, summarized and paraphrasing it, so to speak. So when he brought out today, he announced that he has a son, you know, he has a baby boy from his second wife. And internet has been, you know, filled with mixed reactions. People have been commenting. Some people applauded him. Why some feel so disappointed? Some people now said, oh, they used to respect him before, but now that with this action, they, they don't respect him anymore. Some people went as far as saying that, oh, so they never knew that he was this irresponsible. And some people went ahead to say he's selfish with his actions and so many things and some were also asking what is wrong in polygamy i mean a man took up took another wife and so why why is everybody you know filled with mixed feelings and why some people say they don't see anything wrong in polygamy why are people complaining is you know is polygamy i mean is christianity against polygamy and so many things you know mixed feelings everybody with their own opinion so um when i read that i was not like okay mm, this is an opportunity to talk briefly about um about polygamy and also enlighten us, use this as an opportunity to enlighten us and to unpack what the Bible, you know, says about polygamy. So in the Old Testament, there were a lot of prophets, a lot of followers of Christ, a lot of leaders that were polygamous. You know, they had polyg uh, polygamous marriage. David was one of them and so many of them in the Old Testament. Now, coming to the New Testament, what standard did Christ himself put? did he permit polygamy or not and again i still want to make us understand when we talk about polygamy it's not only the male marrying the female i mean marrying more than one female polygamy is both ways is either the woman is marrying more than one husband or the man is marrying more than one wife okay because it kind of i what i notice in the society is that there is kind of a double standard if a male commits a particular kind of sin, the society seems to permit it. But if it is a female that does that same exact sin, the reaction is different. And this is what I want to put out straight here. That's why I'm stressing the fact that polygamy is not only one-sided, it is both-sided. And that is why uh, the sociologists gave, it that, gave them different names polygyny and polyandry that's to make you understand that it can work both ways and in different cultures they are legal they are permitted they are you know is 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 acceptable is their way of life it is their practice but i am focusing today on what does the bible say what practice is acceptable or permitted by the bible okay so let's go to what the bible says about polygamy 
Now, in, in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12, the Bible made us understand that let the deacon each be the husband of one wife, managing their children and their households well. So in the Bible, in the, in the New Testament, the recommendation there is one man, one woman, which is monogamy. One man, marry one wife. One woman, please marry one husband. That's what the Bible says here. And I also want to bring up the fact that why I feel that most people are really disappointed in you, Lodotia, is because it seemed like this was the foundation of the marriage. Because he had some time, you know, told the public about how he started, how he married his wife, how the wife stood by him even when he had nothing. So it didn't seem like it was it, the wife understood from the foundation that, this is an open marriage, or this is a poly. This this might turn out to be a polygamous marriage. I mean, um, in any way, be open about it. It doesn't seem like it. So a lot of people feel bad that he acted in selfishness. He just went ahead and did what he felt was was okay by him. You know selfish basically and you let that you're not just being 16 years in marriage has four children three boys and a girl he celebrated uh, the daughter's 17th birthday via his instagram handle just a few months back and people are like what are you looking for you have both species of human beings you have stayed this long in marriage there was no there was no case of infidelity in your marriage there was no case of violence there was no divorce there was nothing what is it what did your wife do wrong to you that you did this all behind her and did not approve of it and to also further prove that the wife came under the, the, the comment section where the husband posted the picture of his newborn baby uh, baby boy and the and the concubine or wrote, though he had he addressed her as a second wife she now came and made a comment that seems like a comment that will come from a bitter and not a happy woman she said god will judge you but now i want to use this to use this opportunity to let us know when it comes to christian marriage we follow what you know the christian tradition says and our manual is the Bible. So the Bible says in First Timothy chapter three, verse twelve, like I read, like I read earlier, let the deacon each be the husband of one wife. Like if you have to be a leader, if you have to be a responsible person in the Christian society, if you want to be an exemplary leader, you have to be a husband and one wife. And same also you know, is applicable and is also expected of the woman. The woman will also be a husband, I mean, a wife to one man. And you manage that your circle. That is monogamy. If this is not the case, any other thing that happens outside the circle is termed as selfishness, unacceptable. In some denomination, they would dissolve the marriage. In some custom, it is as a, is an is considered as an offense. It's considered as a breach of contract. So before you go into a relationship, define your relationship, and once you define it, don't go against. If you go against it, then the other part, partner, the other person that feels aggrieved, can go ahead and sue. Remember that in marriage, you are not just marrying yourselves. Every other asset, any other asset that is in, that is acquired within that marriage is you know is, is also part of the marriage so if you're bringing a different spouse inside our marriage that means he's bringing kind of a you know a hitch or kind of is bringing i mean he's bringing confusion inside our marriage what about the properties that were owned in the in the marriage how are you going to do it what is going to happen are documents going to be changed are they going to be sold you know there will be a lot of confusion so please male and female brothers and sisters define your relationship from the beginning make it clear ask every question you want to ask are we married based on customary i mean traditional are we married based on chris are we if you're both christians define it if you're muslims if that's what you're called what am i expecting in this marriage is there somebody else coming up in the future so that you prepare your mind and prepare yourself ahead of time to avoid stories that touch but in my opinion i feel that you Edocho's action was very selfish it was very very irresponsible and coming out in the public bam to announce such a thing uh, you know shows a high level of disrespect and dis disregard for his so-called first wife as he has addressed her 
uh, over the internet that shows that he never respected that woman and a man who does not respect the wife in my opinion is very very irresponsible and such a man should not be allowed to hold a, an office that demands high respect this is my opinion so what is your own opinion let's continue this discussion in the comment section and um, until i see you in another video stay well stay healthy and um, remain blessed bye bye